Okay, guys, so now we're at part two of my horse tour stuff, whatever you want to call it. So, on Bugsy's tack box right now is just her two fly masks. This is the older one, that's the newer one uh, that I repaired because she broke them. We're at the end of the season, so I don't really want to buy her a new one just yet. But, so, if you look at my tack box, it looks kind of a mess at the moment. So, the first thing here is my blue Clinton Anderson rope halter. Um, he isn't my favorite trainer, that's for sure. Uh, but my grandpa loved all of his equipment, so I do have quite a bit of it, just because it came with Bugsy. Uh, but it is a nice rope halter. I use it a lot for training. So, then I have these two blue um, handkerchief scarf things. It was a scarf at one point, but then I cut it in half. One is for Bugsy, which is this one, little, the dirtier one. And then one is for me, which I use to keep myself cool in the summertime. The one for Bugsy I use to wipe her eyes, because she gets goopy eyes every now and again. Uh, I have my work gloves for when we move hay. I don't use these when I muck out stalls or anything like that. I pretty much just use it for, uh, muck, or for moving bales of hay and for using a rasp. Now, I don't use it with my Radius Pro rasp. I use it with this rasp because the edges hurt my hands after a while. So, you you kind of want to just use gloves when you have a regular rasp like that just because it can cut up your hands pretty bad. Uh, then I have my medicine bag, which I'll do a tour on next. Uh, I have a random bag in there. Then I have my green halter. Um, if you saw the videos with all the pictures from the ranch, this halter will look familiar. It was on Chief, it was on Cat, I've used it on pretty much every horse I've ever had, uh, because it does fit a lot of horses. But just a nice spare web halter. Uh, then I have my red rope halter that has the Easy On. That's what that little metal thing is right there. Um, I don't use this one as much. Just because it doesn't, I don't know, I don't like how much extra there is on the sides. That's my only complaint about this Easy On Mustang rope halter. Uh, is that there's way too much slack. Alright, then I have my little baby red and black uh, lead rope. Which I rarely ever use. <laughs> um, I have my black lead rope. Forgot the word there for a minute. Alright, and then I have my split reins with the big poppers. Uh, I stopped using these because I'm, I'm getting lazy with my uh, riding where I like to sit and lean on the horn. I don't need to hold on to the horn, I just like leaning on it and I need to stop doing that. So I've gotten connected reins because I use both my hands with connected reins. So the next thing I have here is a pair of pink and brown riding gloves for kids because my cousins sometimes want to wear gloves when they ride. Alright, now all this stuff is Bugsy's old tack. Um, I use these a lot for training just to get horses used to having different types of tack on them. Uh, and these are a pair of connected reins. This is for old uh, nylon head stall with that's the, um, that little bit right there at the end is her curb strap. And then these are the, uh, split reins. A lot longer. Alright, and then this is her breast collar. I use this a lot when I want to train horses that, or when I'm starting horses and I want them to get used to a breast collar because I don't care if this breaks. Um, and it shouldn't break because it is nylon. And nylon is like super hard to break. Then I got this random bag in here. This bag is for bag training. Um, I have another one that's on my uh, lunge whip, but this is just in case that one rips or something happens to it. Then I have the object that no one thinks I actually have, and that's my Troxel black helmet. It's very dirty right now. I don't really use it that often, as you can tell at the bottom of my tack box. Um, but yeah, I do actually have one. No matter how many people tell me that I don't actually have one. Uh, then I have a little baby lariat or a lasso. 
Uh, this is just to teach little kids how to rope because I did do that for a little while. And then the last thing I have in here is my uh, spare curb chain. There it goes. It focused. Um, this came with her hackamore. I don't like the ones that have chain on them just because it puts a little more pressure and a little bit more pain on them. So I like using the little other ones. But yeah, that's everything that's in my tack box. Um, I'll either do everything that's in my, on my tack area in the tack room. So like my saddle and my bridle and everything like that next, or I'll do the medicine bag next. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. But yeah, we're going to end up there guys.